So over here you can see that I have a video clip and what you can also do with video clips on Shotcut is arrange out its position according to how you like. So to do that, you need to select out a video clip that you want to change the position and size of and then click on filters. Alternatively, you can go around onto the view option over here as well and go to filters to get the same option if you don't see it here. So once you go around onto the filter, when this video clip is selected, you can click on the plus button over here and here you can see a size, position and rotate option is here. Alternatively, you can manually uh, go around and then uh, scroll down to size, uh, position and rotation option over here as well. Or if you want to uh, like just set it out over here, just type in size and you can see that you can uh, get the size, position and rotate option right here. So once you go around and once you click, then what happens is that this particular uh, effect will be applied as you can see. And now what you will be able to do is you'll be able to resize out the video clip and then you will be able to uh, click and drag this and place this wherever you want and use this little uh, circular uh, circular dot right here to rotate out the video clip as well. So you can visually rotate this as you can see and over here there is different options. For example, there's a slide in from left right here as you can see. So there's like different animations that can be applied over here as well. We are going to talk about animations and uh, keyframing in later lessons. Now over here you can see that you can also go around, move out from the top and so forth as you can see. So you can add in different sort of animations over here as well, where which adds in, uh, let's say for example, different appeal to this. So I'm going, going to go for slow zoom out and then it slowly zooms out the video clip as you can see as you use this. So I'm just going to go around right here and go to the top and go for default. So I'm not going to apply any animation. So I can go around and resize this as you can see right here. But over here, you can also work around with the position from over here. You can also type in the value in pixels right here. Uh, if I were to type in 200, then this is what you have. You can also change this out, change up the size right here from over here, just like this, as you can see. You can also work around with zoom in and zoom out and type in the value if you want to. And you can work around with fitting of the size or you can fill it out or you can distort it out over here as well according to how you like. So you can see that now you can even distort out the video if you were to uh, click this but fill and fit you can see that in fit you get uh, the options on the side and fill you only have the corners while in distort you got all of these options right here. You can go for uh, like a, a different sort of fitting over here so you can fit it from the left and right and so forth as you can see as well. So there's a vertical fit over here as well so if you want to fit it from the top and there's the rotation option from over here as well as you can see. Uh, so because we selected our top it is rotating from the top right here. And I'm just going to go around and select middle point and you can see that it rotates from the middle over here as well. So over here you can see that this is the background color you can go around and select it to apply a different background color of your choice as well. So I'm just going to go around and keep black over here and that is how things work out as you can see right here. So you can choose out the background color, work around with uh, rotation, scale and so forth over here in shortcut. So that is how you can do it and if you were to click on uh, the uh, these buttons right here then everything goes to default right here um, and then uh, you can start working if you are not um, like sure that you want to start around with these itself. Um, uh, so you know, let's say you uh, did some mistake then you can go back to default just by clicking on these icons right here as well. And whenever you apply an effect, if you actually were to uncheck it, the effect will be unseen and you can check this on again to see the effect that you applied right here. So that is how you can work around with um, video positions like scaling rotation and then size and side of shortcut. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.